What's up, boys? Today, I'm going to be talking about Shoreline. Uh, it's got a lot of solid loot spread around the map, as well as some keys that can get you some top-tier loot. So, if you like it, like the video, subscribe, I'd appreciate it, and let's get into it. We got a good spawn for this Jaeger stash run. Spawn next to the military base, so what I did is I headed east, and I moved towards the military base. And you'll find two stashes down here. There's one on the shore, and then the next one is by this railroad over here. And you'll see when I get down here, you can't get this stash by crouching. You have to lay down to get it, so that's something to consider. Up here, a little bit tricky, but it's along this railroad here, and these like this thicket, and you'll find it. Now we're gonna move north along the road here. I'm going to head to the next stash. So you'll notice there's a railroad here. When you approach the biggest bush to the left there, where you'll find the stash. Next one is up this hill, big tower. Once you get up here to this big tower, you'll notice there's like a small red shack. If you go to the side opposite of the tower, the shack, you'll find a stash in a bush here. So now we're gonna move south and you'll come across a dilapidated building. And now we're coming across a dilapidated building. This is where your next stash is. It's along this metal roof here. And if you move northeast from this building, you'll find a large bush next to some trees that look like they've been mowed down by a heavy machine gun. And that's where you'll find the next stash. And now moving south towards the shore, you'll come across a very large rock across from a, a crane. Next to the rock, you'll find the stash. So moving west, you'll come across two dilapidated buildings. What you want to do is see that slanted tree there? Follow that slanted tree to this rock patch here, and you move left, left side of the rocks to the first bush, and you'll find a stash. Just remember to look for that crooked tree there. Now we're approaching the pier. It's up to you whether or not you want to go here. Keep in mind. There's a decent amount of traffic here, so you might run into PvP. Heading up north, near the dam, you'll find a bridge with a tank on top of it. Underneath that bridge, there's another Jaeger stash. Now you can either cross at the dam, but keep in mind there's scavs there, um, or you can head up north, like I'm doing, and cross over here underneath the resort. I find that there's pretty much no one down here, no scavs to alert anyone, and you just cross over and keep moving towards the extract. That pretty much sums up the stash run. Now it's time to get into the resort itself. 
all right boys it's the resort i know it can be a little bit spooky but don't worry coming up on the right here that's the east wing on the left is the west wing i'm gonna show you a handful of keys they can get you some really really valuable loot On the East Wing, I have four keys to show you. Room 110, room 222, room 306, and room 310. All four of these keys have very high valuable loot spawns, and they don't cost very much at this point in the life either. I'm gonna move down towards room 110, and you'll be able to identify it by the bloody handprint right next to the door here. Now this room has the ability to spawn LEDX in the bathroom, so it is a very, very valuable key. See a bunch of medical equipment inside of here and inside of this bathroom. Inside of the shower here is where you can find lead X spawns. Check everywhere in this room because you never know what you can find, like the raven under the desk there. We're gonna head upstairs towards room 222. As we approach the room here, you'll notice the hole in the ground there. Those holes in the ground are very good for outflanking or outmaneuvering your enemies. I'd recommend going in offline mode and experimenting with dropping through those holes to try and figure out where you can get to them from and where they'll get you. So that way when you get into firefights, you hopefully have the knowledge to outmaneuver your enemy. Now room 222. This room has some valuable spawns in it. First room here just has some PC parts, tools, grenade box, and a weapons case. If you go out on the balcony, you'll see a weapons locker. And inside of the next room is a weapons crate, some loose spawns like the GP coin on the ground and the cash. So it is a pretty valuable room as well. Now we're going to head upstairs towards room 306 and 310. Up here, there's some clutter in the middle of the hallway. We're going to go around it using room 315. Room 315 has a weapons crate inside and not really much else. Here's room 310. Room 310 has more loose spawns on the bed and the tables, like the gold chain you can see there, as well as you know the chance for cash, bitcoins, etc. I'll we'll approach room 306. And in room 306, you have more loose spawns a weapons crate, and four PCs. Head out on the balcony, hop over this generator here. There's a chance for an M4 to spawn there, I believe, as well as some other loose spawns and a medical crate. Take a left outside of room 306, and in this room, you'll notice that there's another hole in the ground like I was referring to earlier. I said it's good to practice this offline so that way you know where this leads you. Like now, I'm dropping down to head over to the west wing. And coming through the skywalk here, you'll notice that there's another hole in the ground that allow you to drop down to the first floor. I only have two keys to show you in the west wing. That'll be room 216 and room 301. In 
Room 216 will have some tech spawns immediately to your left as well as a lot of weapons related boxes inside the room. Finally, we have room 301. Room 301 has more loose loot spawns, like the O scope on the ground next to the desk there, as well as the PC and the weapons box. You can also find things on the shelf there next to the weapons crate. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video and you can make some rubles.